Welcome to Coffee and Resales. My name is Ryan. I get stuff at thrift stores, garage sales, yard sales, and apparently dumpsters. And try to make a few bucks online. Fun story today, and we're going to get to it in a few minutes. First, got to go over one more sale. And found a few things. So, we're going to jump on that. Alright, one sale. Poshmark. Real quick. Levi's denim jacket, women's small, 10 bucks. Uh, old Levi's denim jackets sell well. I think I've had this since like the summer. Okay. Uh, I had 10 bucks plus shipping. So I'll make money on it, but that's why I don't do clothes much anymore is it just doesn't pay. And I, they don't have them around here. And I'm not going to want I'm enough of that. Uh... Stuff I got. I uh, had a good day picking yesterday at the thrift store and a few other things to go over. Uh, breast pump parts. Got them at the last chance. Uh, let's see the glare on that. Uh, There's a breast shield set. Uh, that. It's like a $12, $15 in package thing. So snag it. It was a last chance for cheap. Didn't even look it up. Figured it'd be worth a little bit. Uh, a couple of X-Men figures, Wolverine and Cyclops. These are modern, I mean, not even repros because they never even made these, but uh, sort of a classic styling. Uh, got these for three apiece. I got, I have a Silver Surfer. What I'm hoping to do is do like three for 20 because the packages are a little bit beat up. But I will double check all these. Um, but these are sort of a classic, that classic 80s look. X-Men figures, fun finds, uh, copy of one of the Deflands series novels. I think I just read that this is going to be a TV series, which means the books are going to go up in value. So uh, double check that, but uh, Deflands post-apocalyptic series um, and some of the related ones, which makes me wonder if these aren't going to, uh, this genre isn't going to make, this is more of the, it's, it's not the zombie genre, the post-apoc, walking dead, it's not going to be that. It is, uh, this is more, that's more like the men's adventure type, uh, post-apocalyptic stuff, and there's, some stuff from the late 70s, mostly 80s, early 90s series uh, that that cover that sort of genre. And I wonder if that's not kind of coming down the pipe uh, with what's being produced out of Hollywood. If that's going to be some of the material they grab. Uh, let's see. More. This is from the other day and I fished this out. Uh, more Lemony Snicket books to add to that pile for a set. Uh, comic book, a Becca reader. Um, I'm a little surprised these haven't sold yet, but they may, I may not sell them till, uh, homeschool stuff. It has a tendency to, to sell specific times a year better, uh, through the summer, early August. Let's see what we got. Ah. Grrr. George R. R. Martin book to add to that set. I'm going to have a near complete, another near complete set to sell there. And that goes with it. So I'm going to have four or five of those books that I'm going to be able to flip. There. Ah, here we are. Let's see. Another pump part. Not sure if I'm going to give this to my kids or not. I'm going to look it up. Mech motor, sort of a Rector set style uh, motorized kit. I'm going to like pop it open and test it and check it and uh, see how it turns out. I got one of my sons is really into Legos and might be interested in that, but he always winds up back doing Lego stuff. Carl Sagan broke his brain. This this bag is all all the books in this bag were like a quarter a piece. 
because they were all at the last chance goodwill. I've been waiting for a handful of stuff to move over. Ooh, that's a big fun one. Anyway, uh, another neat find. Uh, historical readers. Uh, by this is what next text or something. Um, these are like three to five dollars a book. I I think these are closer to five dollars a piece. Uh, wadded up, so that's a pretty decent find. These will probably be flea market type finds. A couple of Spider-Man uh, new wallets. Uh, I'll look these up, but I suspect this is going to be like two dollars a piece at some of these at the flea market and this is going to be interesting to look up uh back to the future 2 loot crate hoverboard so loot crate stuff is really interesting and uh i mean there you could almost there's folks out there that get loot crate just to flip the stuff and so, uh, there's, there's my, if I see Loot Crate, I almost always grab it to flip out of a thrift store prices, almost without looking it up. Because a lot of times I've found that it's, it's been worth it. And it's usually cool nerd stuff anyway. So, you know, I've put, I've kept stuff that's been Loot Crated. So, Okay. We smoke through that to get to the fun part. Here's the fun part. Uh, background. I work in a small office building. It's just me. Uh, our company rents this office so, so I can do my work. And I do my work and they allow me to do uh, my eBay on the side. And about every day in the afternoon, I go take a walk. Just stretch my legs, clear my head, that sort of stuff. And there are, and there's several businesses in this sort of complex area, uh, three or four dumpsters. And I pop my nose in, usually it's to look for boxes, and some of the dumpsters sometimes, just to see what's there. And usually I pull out boxes or padding or something like that, and it's useful and I don't have to pay for boxes. And so I go out yesterday, and I put my head in one right for this office, which sometimes, I wish they, some days I wish they hit it so it would be serve as not, as a, like a community dumpster. Because um, I think it gets used that way sometimes. But I poke my head, and the other businesses in this area, there's a computer store and an electrician. Uh, like a computer networking business and an electrician and a few other things. I've, got, I've gotten laptops, um you know, st some electrical stuff that's been useful or handy or or whatever. And actually I pulled a, uh, I, I think it even made it into a video. Uh, I pulled a copier toner cartridge out of a dumpster one time. Sold it for a hundred bucks. It was new in the box. It had never been, never been used, never been opened. Uh, yesterday, I got this. <laughs> It's a Berninia sewing machine. It is cracked. Casing's cracked right there. No idea if it works. Had the power cord. So I plugged it in. I grabbed it and plugged it in. It powers up. I look them up. It's not like a super, it's not like a singer you get at Walmart nowadays. It's not like a low end brand. Okay. Put it up for, I think, 199 I think I put it up for like maybe 150 plus shipping. And this morning at 7 a.m., it sells for $125 plus shipping. Okay. So, I'm not sure what the lesson here is, but I've apparently learned it. Uh, actually, the lesson on dumpster diving, uh, it's useful as long as you know, kind of get your own <laughs> and you're not fighting over them. Uh, I don't know if anybody else knows about finding stuff out of these dumpsters. Um, I'm poking my head in all the time and they, these businesses keep throwing this stuff away. When I think, I, I get it, it's not, they're not in the business of, uh, you know, you got a junk laptop. They're not in the business of reselling that stuff. Though, 
honestly, I, I, I wonder if it wouldn't be more beneficial to have a place to stash uh, stuff and having a great, or having something with somebody that, uh, that does like the electricians. Uh, honestly, there's, there's so much scrap metal that goes into that one that, uh, I think that they should be doing something else with it, but, uh, cause you can always, uh, somebody, will, somebody will always pick up scrap metal. Um, you put it out where I live. If you put anything scrap metal out the side of the road, it's gone, with, it's gone within 24 hours. Um, cause there's guys that troll the neighborhoods and grab scrap metal and there's a, and it's really like, I think scrap metal places like 15, 20 minutes from where I live. Uh, that does it. And so it's financially beneficial for people to do it. So, uh, so I snagged this and it's hundred twenty five dollars and I got to ship it. Uh, cause it's not, as you notice, it's not light, but that's okay. So, and, but I got the boxes. It's a matter of the pattern really. Uh, but if I, I get a box and I tape it, I got to make sure it's taped up really well. Um, and do that that way. So, there you go. Uh, don't be afraid to dumpster dive occasionally if you got a good spot to do it. And I'm betting more of you out there who do thrifting and flipping dumpster dive as much as you reasonably can. And you got your one that is kind of your... Uh, good spot to jump into uh, as long as nobody else finds out about it and then, and then that gets interesting so anyway oh wait well we got work stuff to do trying to get stuff listed every afternoon because the algorithm likes that eBay algorithm likes three things Three things. Stuff that sells. New listings. And good basics. It's more two things, new listings and stuff that sells. Uh, they, 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 the, 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 third, the third one on there, uh, you can have garbage listing and if you got a good item, it'll sell. Uh, there, there's a whole lot of him and hauling about details and, and all that and, and tags and, all, and descriptions and all that sort of stuff. A good description helps, but it's a, it's uh, it doesn't you're nitpicking at that point. If you got stuff that's not selling, it's the price, or you don't have a good thing to sell. This is what it is. Uh, so that's it for today. I got work. I got to pack this. And that's not going to be fun. But it's worth it. So there you go. Like, comment, subscribe. And have a good day.